Alright everybody, hey and welcome back to Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel. If you haven't yet already and you're interested in Norse mythology, Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, anything along those lines, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below and then once you have done so, click the bell notifications and you'll be notified every time that I upload new content. Guys, I upload new stuff here on usually a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Uh, basis. <laughs> Words are tough right now. But um, today's video is going to be sort of a promo video for a really cool and fun and exciting pagan or heathen event that is coming right here to the Middle Tennessee area in the Lewisburg, Tennessee region. And I'm talking now about Walpurgisnacht 2020 today being the first, or sorry, this year being the first uh, official event, hopefully an annual event, uh, coming here to this area. Now, of course, it is in Lewisburg, Tennessee, but it is a public event open to people of all ages, all races, all walks of life, and uh, it's a public event, so if you're willing to travel for the event, come to Lewisburg, Tennessee for this uh, pagan event. It's going to be a uh, sort of a 24-hour, two-day long. It's on May 2nd and May 3rd. Um, but I think the event starts midday on May 2nd and goes all the way through to May 3rd. So it's got two days listed as on their event uh, flyer or their event space. Um, but it's, you know, that that window of opportunity for you guys to come and check it out. Um, so the Walt Pugisnock event is May 2nd, May 3rd here 2020. And uh, all the information is going to be linked down in the description. But before we redirect you down there, I do just want to talk a little bit about it. It's going to be a really cool event. It focuses on the uh, sort of springtime celebrations, May Day, Walpurgisnacht. There's a lot of uh, history around those things, maybe not necessarily focus on Norse or Germanic paganism per se, um, but it is an event for heathens and pagans from all different walks of life to sort of gather and uh, you know have uh, vendor space and workshops and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and it is an all ages event. So you can bring your kids, bring your grandparents, uh, bring everybody. Um, it's open to the public and it is uh, going to be dedicated specifically, I believe the ritual that is surrounding this event is going to be dedicated to Freya, who uh, is sort of attested to and linked to various things in the mythology. Um, but some of the things that we're going to be focusing on in this year's event is uh, her connection to magic and fertility and that sort of thing. So there's all kinds of really cool workshops scheduled to be going on this year. Uh, all that information is going to be found on walpurgisnachtevent.com. Information is down in the description. And there is also a Facebook page event uh, for all you Facebookers out there that want to check it out and uh, see what's going on. I definitely encourage you to do so because any of the uh, changes or updates to the event are going to be posted there most likely um, you've got the event page you've got the official Facebook page all that's down in the description below like I said uh, so be sure to like and follow the page and then click on either interested or going to the event because like I said all of the details that are going to be updated for that event will be posted there as I understand it is a uh, rain or shine event and if it is inclement weather um, then what most likely will happen is they will push back the date to a later time. So you definitely want to make sure that you're in the loop for all of that uh, should you decide to purchase your tickets in advance. Now the important thing to remember when you're purchasing your tickets is that as of right now, uh, up until I believe it is the 1st of April, ticket packages are $15 um, and that includes ages 13 and up. So if you are 13 or below uh, in your age bracket, then the event is free, which is really awesome. Thank you to the event uh, support, or excuse me, the event host and hostesses of this event, Michael, Rue, and uh, Missy, um, who are listed uh, on their Facebook, or excuse me, on their website as the event hosts. I know all these people, really solid individuals, so it's really good, cool that they're looking out for the younger folks. Um, but after April, okay, after April 1st, the prices go up. No uh, indication as to how much they will go up, but if you want to get in and get a good price, you want to go ahead and purchase your ticket packages now early okay this is an outdoor event it is a camping event it's on personal property in Lewisburg Tennessee so be sure to check out walpurgisnotevent.com so that way you know what to expect what to bring what's expected of you when you come what are some of the rules regulations that sort of thing um, 
One thing, or actually two things I want to call attention to are these really cool shirts. You'll see me wearing this one right now. It says Walt Pyrgis Not 2020. You can see it there. Uh, this shirt is available uh, for uh, people who buy tickets now. These shirts are not available at the event. So if you like this shirt and you want it, you've got to purchase your tickets now before the actual day of the event, May 2nd through May 3rd. So don't expect these shirts to be sold when you show up um, that day. If you want a shirt, you gotta order your package now. Another really cool thing that they are offering um, at the event, um, I don't think it's available for pre-purchase. As a matter of fact, I think it is. Let me correct myself, I think it is. Um, but you have to pick it up on the day of purchase along with your shirts. These really cool steins, okay? You got my fingerprints on them a little bit. Sorry about that. Let me clean that off for you a little bit. So hopefully I can get that off. It's a little bit better. Um, but hopefully you guys can see the design on the glass. It's uh, a design that you see on the shirt as well. This little man beating on the drum. And it says Walt Pyrgis knocked on it. It's a 750 milliliter glass stein, which if you purchase this, um, either there or before you uh, arrive, if you purchase it there at the event, they will fill this up complimentary with mead, um, locally sourced mead, as I understand it correctly. So there will no, there will not be any mead sales at this event. But if you decide to get this mug, I think it's fifteen dollars. Um, all the information is going to be down in the description, guys. So check out uh, wallpiggersnutevent.com for the information surrounding this stein, the glasses, the tickets, all that kind of stuff. But as I understand it, this glass, when you purchase it, comes, um, they will fill it up one time for you with some mead, locally sourced, which is really awesome. So please take a moment, head down into the description. If this is something that fancies you, if you want to come out to Lewisburg, Tennessee, if you're not that far, I think, uh, you know, from Nashville, you're looking maybe an hour and a half or two uh, from the Huntsville, Alabama area, which is where the folks who are putting this event on are from. You're looking at maybe a couple of hours. Um, Lewisburg, Tennessee, very rural, very remote, very private area uh, of the state. Um, I have some friends who have family that have property in Lewisburg, Tennessee, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So check it out, guys. WalpurgisNotEvent.com for WalpurgisNot 2020. All the information is down in the description below. Please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to any of the information that you see down there. Check out the information below. Go to the website. Get your tickets now before they go up in price. As if, uh, It's going to be like April 1st, I think, when the prices go up. $15 right now. Kids under 13 are free. Can't beat that price, everybody. So if you are a pagan, pagan curious, heathen, any sort of you know polytheistic uh, approacher to spirituality, that sort of thing. Um, you guys would probably want to check out Wall Pyrgis. It's going to be a really big event, and I wish it all the success. So thank you, Michael, Rue, and Missy for having me do this promo for you guys. I wish it all the success, and maybe I will see you guys there. You never know. I may just pop in. I may show up. I may get myself a sweet package uh, for camping and stuff like that. May is a great time of year to be uh, early May, especially. It is a great time of year to be outside camping. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on here, guys. So please check it out down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to Midgard Musings here on YouTube. Subscribe, like, share the videos, comment, all that kind of fun stuff. Get this out there. Share it with your heathen friends. Share it in your heathen groups. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching today's video. Hail! And I'll see you next time.